Hello, good afternoon. This is David Soto talking to you, and today is my weekly trade predictions for the upcoming trading week of August 31st through September 4th, 2020. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at all the major Forex currency pairs on a 30 minute time frame just so we can see what happened this past week, and then I'm going to compare that to larger time frames such as the four hour daily and weekly charts, and then I'm going to try to give you my analysis of what I think is going to happen this coming week. Okay, so to begin with, here we look at uh, Euro USD. Okay, we see that it was pretty much in a flat range of market, and honestly, most of the currency pairs are in a flat range of market this week. Okay, now we do see that Euro USD had a slight increase from where it began. Okay, it began down here and ended up here. So we had about you know four or five hundred point gain during the week, which is okay. But overall, it was pretty much in a flat range of market like this. Okay, so. Um, when you have this type of scenario, this is ideal to trade using a 30 minute time frame and just trade from arrow to arrow. Okay, trade from place a sell trade here, close it, place a buy trade, close it, place a sell trade, etc. etc. Okay, now here you have two blue arrows you could technically place to buy trades and close it here, both from profit. Okay, now the question right now is, is it going to continue in a range of market or? we're going to see a new trend develop okay now euro usd hit a high point this week and it's not really coming down but it should be headed down now if we come here on the four hour chart let's look at the four hour chart okay this is kind of interesting now okay we had this high level of resistance right here the price had been slowly dropping and then shot back up again okay so uh based on what we see right here on the four hour chart okay it should be dropping okay overall if we look here in the daily chart okay daily chart we have a red arrow which is a strong signal to sell and again you see the price that come retrace and come back up a ways so i do not think that it's going to be going up you know that much further okay we already hit a pretty strong level of resistance right here which we hit several times in the past so based on that yes this will definitely will be dropping if we look at the weekly chart same scenario okay we hit this high level of resistance that we hit several times in the past few weeks all right so now is the optimal time to sell your usd all right now if we come back down to let's look at a one hour chart one hour chart we're already showing a drop okay even the 30 minute which you already saw okay so just a little more detailed view on a 30 minute chart so right now honestly it would be an excellent time to go ahead and place a sell trade okay and then wait for this to drop and then close it when you get the next blue arrow okay and this repeat the cycle okay you should be able to buy and sell both this week considering that this is you know been in a flat range of market i feel strongly that this will continue in a flat range of market except uh, considering that the four hour chart you know higher time for the four hour daily and weekly show the sell I think that this overall will be dropping this week okay so if you want just to play it safe you can uh, focus on sell trades only using a 30 minute time frame okay your choice but I think overall we will be able to both buy and sell it's just the sell trades will have a bigger momentum a bigger gain okay the buy trades won't have that, that much of a gain so keep that in mind all right now let's look at gbp usd okay great british pound versus the us dollar again we saw that we had a nice steady gain this week okay and you know more or less is on a flat range market but uh there's definitely a nice steady uptrend right so now it seems to hit this strong resistance started to drop and came right back up so right now at this very point in time is sitting at a pretty strong level of resistance should be dropping but we don't know okay now let's look at the four hour chart and try to confirm our theories okay the four hour chart shows yes we have hit a pretty strong level of resistance and should be dropping okay in the daily chart uh same thing okay so we finally hit a pretty strong level of resistance if you look at the weekly chart though um it does not show okay 
So we did have a slight increase this past week, like I said before, okay? So even on my previous video, I did say that we might have a, you know, a slight increase because the weekly chart does not have a red arrow. But we are close to the same place this red arrow was before. So we are at a pretty strong area or level of resistance, okay? So overall, it should be dropping uh, this coming week, okay? Now, this is a very fresh, if we're on the four hour chart, this is a very fresh signal to sell, okay? And it really is not dropping yet, <coughs> okay? So what you need to do in this particular case is draw a trend line, okay? Draw a trend line like this, <coughs> marking your support going up, all right? And all we have to do is wait for that support to break and then we can sell. And when I say break, I would wait about two, maybe three candles to break below, okay? At least two candles on the four hour chart and then you can place your sell trade. So this is gonna take a few days before you can actually sell, okay? I would not look to sell right away, all right? Just hang in there. Now, of course, now if you go to the 30 minute chart, we see that, you know, it's optimal time to sell right now, but look here in the past. If you sold here and closed here, you would probably been in a loss. You had a slight profit, but um, it's hard to sell when you're in uptrend. Okay, so when you're in uptrend like this, you only want to focus on the buy trades like this. So what I would do before we even think about selling, wait for this support here, wait for this trend line to break and then sell. Okay, that way we're 100% certain. Okay, that's what I would definitely recommend. <clears throat> Looking at AUD USD now, okay, Australian dollar versus the US dollar. We see that the price had been steadily going up same like GBP USD and looks like right now we hit a pretty strong level of resistance and should be going down all right I say should very loosely right because we've had a pretty strong uptrend here according to the four hour chart now I know I've been trying to say that US that AUD wants to drop but it's all it has not been dropping it's because the US dollar has been so weak okay and it's been allowing the Australian dollar to gain so much, okay? Soon, that's going to reverse, okay? I can guarantee you that much. Exactly when, I don't know. But uh, soon, maybe this week or next week, is definitely going to be reversing. And we're going to see a big downtrend coming, all right? Now, if we look right here on the four-hour chart, again, we had a big uptrend. Right now is not a time to sell, okay? Even though you have a red arrow. Again, what we need to do is draw a trend line like this coming up, okay? And you have these these points right here marked to mark our support. And really, we only have one, two points. We need three points at least to make a trend line. So what we're waiting for is for this price to drop, touch this trend line and break, okay? Probably what happened is a touch the trend line go up even more. I don't know. Okay, it's very difficult to say, but at least uh, wait for at least two candles to break below, and then you can sell. Okay, so again, it's going to take a few days. Do not look to get into this sell trades right away. Okay, be patient on this one. Okay, be patient and wait for this to you know trend to break. All right, now let's look at U.S. dollar, Swiss franc. Now, U.S. dollar should be dropping simply because the other pairs have been going up. So if the euro is going up, the pound's going up, Australian dollar's going up, that means the US dollar's going down, okay? Now let's look at US dollar, Swiss franc. <clears throat> so here on USD CHF, we do see that the price had uh, slowly dropped over the past week, all right? And the price began up here and ended down here. So. That's about a mm, about 700 point drop. And that's to be expected, okay? The US dollar has been very weak lately. Unfortunately, the US dollar is not going into an uptrend right at this time, like we would like it to. Um, I think the US dollar might even go down even more. Of course now, 
please note that this coming Friday is the non-farm payroll, okay? And we don't know exactly what's gonna happen with the economy and the jobs report, but I'm thinking, now this is just me personally thinking, that we will see a decrease in unemployment figures, which will cause the US dollar to gain, okay? Now keep in mind, if the US dollar is gonna be gaining, it needs the first drop, okay? Now it's already been dropping. So what most likely what might happen this week is that we will see a range of market and then by the end of this week going into the next week we'll see a surge okay that's what i feel will happen all right now if we look here on the four hour chart we have a signal to buy of course it shot up and then came back down to basically the same level of support it was before all right so based on this right here we're seeing right now we should be gaining Okay, now what I think is going to happen is, like we look at the daily, the weekly, all that shows to go up. Okay, so we know long term it's going to be going up, but in the short term for this week, what I think is going to happen is, if you put time, put your charts on a 30 minute time frame, okay, what we're looking here is to see more or less a range of market. Okay, right now we have an arrow to buy, so it's safe to buy right now and close the trade when you get the next red arrow, okay? I personally would focus on the blue arrows only, just because it's getting ready to reverse, okay? You you probably can both buy and sell. I don't really see any big issue with that, simply because, like I said, it's gonna be stuck in a range of market. We might even see a decrease this week, I don't know. But I think by the end of the week, we should see a surge um, by you know, release of non-farm payroll. So look look this Friday for the price to be going back up, okay? So we should see the price pretty much in a flat range of market this week with the end of the week seeing a surge, okay? So um, again, just keep your charts on a 30 minute time frame. If you wanna be safe, focus on buy trades only, okay? Buy here, close on the opposite red arrow, all right? now. Let's look at USD JPYK, US dollar versus the Japanese yen. Uh, look here on a 30 minute chart, sorry. Look on a 30 minute chart. We see pretty much the same thing. All right, we're in a flat range of market. Price had done some kind of an unusual activity, but um, but more or less the price did drop this week. Okay, we had a slight gain and then a big drop towards the end of the week, which is okay, all right. <clears throat> We don't expect the U.S. dollar to be going into uptrend anytime soon. So right now, the price is stagnant. Okay, it's just kind of dead sitting right here. So question right now, is it going to be going back up into the uptrend or is it going to be going down even more? Because it's really not doing much of anything right at the moment. Now, let's look at the four hour chart and kind of see what's going to be going on here. Four hour chart has a blue arrow here and had a slow and steady uptrend and then a big drop okay so this past week so based on this right here it looks like it hit a pretty strong level of support down here where it already hit before okay so we should technically be seeing an up you know a small uptrend this week okay now that's no guarantee now if we look at the uh daily chart we have a strong level of support down here, right? I can even mark that so you can see, but there's always the chance that the price could drop even more coming back down to that support. If you look at the weekly chart, same thing. There's another support down here. I don't think the price is going to drop that far, but <clears throat> as we can see between the four hour daily and weekly, everything is showing to go back up, okay? So at least right now, at least right now we're at a pretty strong level of support and we should be seeing a gain this week okay so what i think is going to happen is the price is more or less me caught in a flat range of market with a slight uptrend okay that's what i think is going to happen this week i could be wrong but um we should see the price you know going back up in the beginning of the week and then around Tuesday, Wednesday, come back down and then towards the end of the week, go back up again, all right? And if all goes as well with the non-farm payroll, we should see the price have a 
three or four hundred, maybe even five hundred point gain by the end of the week. Okay. Now let's look at U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar. Okay. Again, we saw a nice and steady uh, drop this week. Uh, the beginning of the week did have a small little uh, bump in the market here, where the price shot up, started to go up, and kind of tricked a lot of people because everybody was hoping that was a sign that we'd be going into a long uptrend. And then um, I, I cautioned a few people that the price would be dropping even more, and I was kind of right about that. But it was more or less taking a guess. <clears throat> but the price did drop uh, considerably this past week, but now it looks like we hit a pretty strong level of support and should be going back up okay based on the data with the u.s dollar right now u.s dollar has hit like not an all-time low but a pretty strong level of support a pretty uh strong low so we're looking for this to be going back up if you look at the four hour chart we already hit a strong level of support and it's already starting to go back up if you look at the daily chart same thing you look at the weekly chart well almost the same thing right so uh, this is the only thing that's kind of disturbing is that we have a red arrow but no blue arrow okay but we are close to this level of support that we hit before so yes this price could be going back up okay <clears throat> so you know like I said right now we have uh, uptrend forming on the four hour chart so if we drop down to some of the smaller time frames you know we see like the one hour is already starting to go up and 30 minutes definitely already going up so right this very moment is a good time to buy and you can wait to close the trade on the opposite red arrow okay when you get the next red arrow close the trade and then I would probably wait until you get another blue arrow and then buy simply because it looks like the price is gonna be slowly rebounding and coming back up okay so watch for the price to be in a up and down you know sideways fashion but with a slight uptrend and depending on non farm payroll this friday like i said before we should see this price you know spike back up towards the end of the week okay now non-farm payroll will affect both the u.s dollar and the canadian dollar so this particular pair is a very unique pair so we probably will not see a big surge at the end of the week <clears throat> um, more or less we'll probably see a tight range of market is my best guess so with that in mind though you could both buy and sell uh when you have you know blue, red or blue arrows it shouldn't matter you can trade from one arrow to the next and you should be perfectly fine okay so you keep that in mind so anyhow um you know like i said you to be 100 percent safe though you probably would want to buy but considering this is usd cad you can both buy and sell okay you should be perfectly fine anyhow that will conclude my you know weekly trade predictions if you have any questions or comments about these trade predictions or any other uh currency pair okay if you have a certain currency pair that you want me to analyze and give my prediction on please contact me on facebook there is a link below in the description of this video for my personal facebook please contact me there first also there is a link for my private facebook group and you can request to join my facebook group and post any questions or comments in my facebook group this way myself or other traders we can all assist you and we can all collaborate as a team okay so that's the whole purpose of having a group so anyhow um i look forward to helping you and working with you uh thank you and have a wonderful week ahead